So today I'm working on master cylinders. Uh, these are brake master cylinders for my Gypsy. They use these cylinders in a lot of different applications uh, on vehicles, all sorts of English vehicles. They use them for clutch cylinders as well uh, in smaller bores. These are three quarter inch bore cylinders. They're a single uh, cylinder, single reservoir master cylinder. They're not a, not a split system like modern cars split front to back. Um, you just got one circuit. Um, something I've had a little trouble with these master cylinders, um, they're a reproduction and you'll see them sold on even on Amazon but I bought these on on eBay. I bought four of them and and they seem to be they seem to be pretty well made. They're they're machined well and they, they look really tidy, but um, I've had trouble with two of them leaking past this seal here on the piston. And they end up leaking out the back of the master cylinder and then the brake fluid runs down and ruins the paint job on your on your brake mounting brackets and the firewall. So that's pretty annoying. So I went looking for something better and um, I noticed that uh, Willwood makes a reproduction of this as well. And the uh, thing I thought that was nice about it is that it's made in the USA, so at least you know where it came from. And um, if you have any problems with it, you might even have a bit of a warranty on it. I'm not sure. I'm, this isn't an ad for Willwood or anything. This is, just happens to be something I found. But um, the, the machining is really nice on this. It's an all alum, aluminum uh, casting as well. You can see on that bore. Um, they use an aluminum piston with the seal mounted midway instead of at the end, like on the Girling style. And it, this one on the left is exactly like the, the original Girling one that came out of my Gypsy. Same setup and and probably the the rebuild kits work um, interchangeably um, from from BMC or the British ones. I've I've used kits that I bought on eBay to to rebuild these same cylinders, the ones that leaked on me. So I'm guessing they were they probably just copied them identically. Um, the check valve in the end. Um, this check valve presses down against the end of the bore and seals the fluid when you when you pump the pedal it'll it'll allow fluid to come down and into the cylinder and then it blocks it off so the fluid doesn't go back up so this little seal is really important um, if you the seal ever goes bad you're you're going to lose your brake pedal just the same as you would with this one only fluid will come out the back and on the, with this seal leaking it's it's you're just going to have no pedal and you're going to see fluid pumping up into the reservoir the Willwood comes with the same casting. You can use your, your I call it a bubble flare, just a single flare like the, the Gypsy or English cars use that are tapered like that. But it also comes with an adapter so you can use a double flare, which is more common these days. They aren't the exact same casting, like they haven't copied each other identically because if you try and move these caps one to the other they don't fit. Um, the thickness of these flanges is different. This one's thinner. This whole casting on the Willwood is thinner so I'm, I'm guessing it's guessing it's made out of a higher grade aluminum. This one here is kind of you know kind of a rough casting in comparison. It's not quite as smooth. It's thicker, a little less machining going on there. So yeah, that's that's my bother with these um, aftermarket no-name brand ones. Here is is you don't know where they're coming from, and you don't know you know the quality of these seals that they're using in here, and just just how you know how long they're going to last. And it's pretty important on a master cylinder when you've only got one circuit, you know, because if you lose this little seal. Or this little check valve at the end, you lose your brakes. So everything's counting on this little thing right here. Or this one. So that's why I went looking for a better quality. And, and so I took the Willwood apart just to compare it to the other one and just to see the differences. Uh, I'm going to go with the Willwood on the brake master cylinder. 
and I got a 5 8 coming for the clutch master cylinder. My main concern was that all these mounting dimensions would be the same and that they would mount in my brackets and physically they, they, they have all the same, same dimensions, just different castings. If you ever take one of these apart, it's good to know uh, when you're trying to rebuild this, usually your kit will come with this spring that holds tension on the check valve. Um, you can't get the, you might be able to just get it out of there, but you'd have a hard time getting this seal out without taking this apart. So to get it apart inside this cap here, you'll see there's a, a slotted hole in there and that allows this to go, the end of the piston, the end of the, sorry, the rod to go through and hook in there. So when you put it together, you compress it down and hook that in there. Then when you put the piston in, there's a little tab, not sure if you can see it in this light or not, that little tab locks into this part of the piston and holds it together securely so then it can't come apart. But if you took this apart and you were trying to rebuild it, it's a little bit of a puzzle when you're going, hmm, how do I get this apart? And what you do is you take a pick. I get these picks from my dentist, by the way. So if you ever, at your dentist, ask if they got old picks because they, they usually throw them away when they, when they get used up. But there's that little tab there and you can pry that little tab up and that unhooks it from the piston. Then it comes apart. So that's the key to the puzzle. You can see this little, this is the check valve, and it's important, uh, again, if you're rebuilding, you want to make sure not only that the bore of the cylinder is in really nice shape, with no uh, pits or burrs on it, you want to make sure the end of the bore is nice and smooth right down at the bottom, because that's where this seal presses against when it goes in there. And it'll press against that wall, and it, uh, like I say, it's a one-way check, allows fluid to come in, but not go out. Same thing on this one. The Willwood's a little bit different style. It's a little smaller. I'll check valves there. Same thing on here. It has the little tab. They they say sorry. They sell rebuild kits for these two. Um, this one, the spring's a little more sturdy on it. hooked together. Same thing, it's got the same style. Clips on there. That locks on. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, another thing too um, that I was concerned with is whether I could use the uh, push rod from my Gypsy. The Austin Gypsy uses this and I imagine other British cars use different push rods. So it comes with this generic one, they both do. But as you can see, it doesn't have that little yoke on there to fit onto the pedal. Pretty much the same end for the push rod. Presses against there. And that one fits as well. Uh, this comes with a little nicer boot on the Willwood. This comes with the standard boot. Uh, something, you know, this is important too. Um, if you get water in the back, say you, you're driving through a lot of water, you wash down your engine compartment. If you get moisture into this boot, there's on this style, again, these are pretty basic master cylinders. So there's no O-ring back here or on the back of the piston like you'd see in a lot of vehicles. So moisture can get inside here and it gets in behind this piston. It can, it can work its way through into the master cylinder, but mainly what it does is the moisture sits in here and it rusts the piston 
and it corrodes the bore of the master cylinder and that causes a problem so the boot is pretty important like you want this thing to be in in nice shape you want a good fit on there and I kind of think this one's just a little nicer style feels a little thicker so yeah and then the this one I paid around fifty dollars for and this one I paid I actually bought it on Amazon I, I paid around eighty five dollars for it so it's not a not a huge difference in money um, but I'm going to feel a little better with this master cylinder just because it's made in the States really and, and this one I don't know where it's made and I don't know what the quality of this rubber is and I don't know what the quality of the rubber I'm getting with the kits I buy because they're they're all kind of a all kind of a no-name thing but you know, maybe there's someone out there making better quality parts for this one here for the original for the rebuild but I haven't been able to find them because mainly because I'm in Canada and that's just not as common the Willwood comes in this really nice package with with some um, decals you can put on your toolbox if you want this one comes in a bag no name uh, something also I should add because this is something this says here disc brakes and I always felt that this check valve in the end of the master cylinder I was always wondered anyway because the, the the gypsy has no residual pressure valve it has none so I kind of thought this check valve here at the end might act as a residual valve because it's got that small spring in there that that um, the, pre the brake pressure would need to overcome to push fluid back into the reservoir. So I was a little puzzled on that, but um, going by Willwood, that is not a residual check valve. It is just a check valve that allows fluid to come in and not go out. I use a uh, Silglide. It's a silicone based brake grease. You put a very, very light coating on. You don't need too much. Just on the piston and the seal and on that end seal. A little bit in the bore. Like that. Then your push rod. Sets in there. Your snap ring. Sometimes there's a regular snap ring with eyes, sometimes there's this style of snap ring. Push that in by hand. That's what it looks like assembled. Boot goes on there after. This boot's a little tricky to get over the, the gypsy push rod because again it's got that yoke on there, but if you warm it up, you can generally stretch it over there and that's the nut that comes with it for different applications but again this cap is different um, if you've got an old girling metal cap and you try to put it on this master cylinder it won't fit um, haven't tried it on the Willwood one yet maybe it'll be the same we'll to put an original looking cap on there but yeah, that's about it. Thanks again.